Watchmen is set in an alternate universe where certain things never happen. For example, the Watergate scandal didn't blow up. The Vietnam War was won by the Americans. And so it showed a very interesting take where the superhero world is very entrenched in our real world and then look into the repercussions of that happening. I think when people read comics at that time, most of us really young people, we think that it really should just entertain us, take us away from the real world, celebrate imaginary powers. But Watchmen changed that. It forces us to see it in the context of the life we live normally. That it is no different from political power, the superhero powers that exist. It is no different from the ethical decisions that we make daily about what we do to other people, what we do for society or against society. And that all this you know, can be expressed through superpowers. And whether we have them or not is irrelevant to the nature of who we are when we exercise those powers. It has influenced comic writers in many ways, particularly it helped the superhero genre to mature. This is why if you compare between uh, comics before 88 and comics after that, you will see that there's a very interesting grown-up sensibilities that came out after that in the 90s where the comics superheroes don't just fight evil. They have properly developed characters. They have to deal with real-world repercussions. They are also very connected to real-world histories and commentaries, of course, on politics and all. All these discussions and conversations uh, dealing with ethical issues and all that was very much a result of influence from the Watchmen. Well, the public's response to Watchmen at the start was originally limited to uh, comics lovers and in that sense we were all very profoundly moved and also broadened in mind about what you can do with this genre. It didn't just subvert the superhero genre, it actually shows its possibilities. In that sense it was received with much acclaim from the start and very quickly moved into public circulation. I think from the start it's one of those very curious texts. Up to today we haven't really changed, it still remained one of the most important graphic novels, if not the most important graphic novels I ever written. Come to my lecture on Watchmen at How to Fall in Love with Classics.